Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to <clears throat> the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. First of all, I want to say thank you to all of you who are supporting this platform. And I want to pray from this center that may God bless you abundantly. Kaka, <clears throat> yesterday, was it yesterday or the other day, I recorded a video on uh, the threats from Sudan towards Kenya. And uh, I highlighted a number of issues and warned against the Kenya Kwanzaa government <clears throat> to desist from picking fights with everybody. Kaga, as a human being, I always advise be very careful when you pick fights. Pick a fight that you know you are able to fight it. You don't go around picking fights from everyone. You just want to fight everyone around you. You are fighting the judiciary, you are fighting Sudan, you are fighting Uru Kenyatta, you are fighting Raila Odinga, you know, you are fighting the media, you, 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 you are fighting everyone in your country. There is no one you say, these people who are rhyming together. I have seen you guys accuse Uhuru Kenyatta. And you say, Uhuru Kenyatta is sponsoring Maandamano. Now, I, I, I wonder, is Uhuru also sponsoring the judiciary to overturn the 2023 finance bill? Today, most of the Kenyan uh, government, most of the government, our government websites were down, including the e-citizen. Now let me ask you, is Uhuru also funding the hackers? I'm proud of this because, um, not, I'm pr okay, I'm sorry. I'm saying, I'm, pr I'm, 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 I'm not proud because they have attacked the websites, but I'm saying, I'm proud because the government has responded. This is what we have been waiting for. And uh, if we are not very careful as a country, if we are not careful on how we pick our fights, then I think we are sinking as a country. And as I said, the Kenya Kwanzaa days are numbered. If they can't be very careful on who they are picking fights with, Kenya tusipochunga wale watu ambao tunapigana na wao. Tutapotea kama taifa la Kenya. One morning you guys will wake up and you find you cannot access your money in your bank. Like what has happened to the e-citizen. We woke up in the morning, we cannot access the e-citizen services. We woke up in the morning... Uh, things like MPESA isn't working. Woke up in the morning, so many websites were down. Then I was like, okay, this will be the trend. This is what the government is saying. Statement on the attack of the e-citizen platform. The government of Kenya would like to make the following statement regarding the e-citizen platform. Number one, over the past one week, there have been unsuccessful cyber attacks attempts targeting both the government and the private sectors. The e-citizen portal is among the targets of these unsuccessful attacks. The attack on the e-citizen platform entailed an unsuccessful attempt to overload the system through extraordinary requests with the intention of clogging it, but our technical teams blocked the source IP address where the requests were emanating from. For clarity, both the privacy and the security of the data were not compromised. The system was not hacked. As a consequence of the attack's efforts, however, the system has been experiencing intermittent interruptions that are affecting the normal speed in accessing services on the platform. These attempts have... However, been rebuffed by the security systems and applications in place. Shortly, we will revert to optional utilization levels. The relevant government of Kenya agencies are on a high alert and have enhanced the security of the e-citizen um, and all government services, uh, government services sites. All systems and portals under the control of the government of Kenya are safe. The government will continue 
its cyber surveillance efforts and encourages the public and private sectors to heighten their security, their cyber surveillance efforts, so that jointly we secure Kenya's cyberspace. We want to assure Kenyans that the government has put in place remedial measures to address the current challenges plus a long-term risk mitigation framework to ensure sustainable data privacy and data security. Signed, Eliud Owalo, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Information, Communication and Digital Economy. Ladies and gentlemen, what am I saying? To my own view, from where I sit, I do not want to, specul uh, to speculate that is my own view. That is my own opinion as Kaka Shungura. Because in Kenya, we are, we are entitled to an opinion. But I came to realize that some opinions are too bitter for other people to accept. We are allowed to give opinions. And uh, we will not get tired in giving opinions. Let me say this. Kenya is at risk in this sense. One... Our economy is collapsing. The Kenyan shilling is, gain, is, is, uh, is reducing value against the US dollar. Consequently, the Kenyan shilling is losing value against the Ugandan shilling. Same case to the Tanzanian shillings. That's point number one. Point number two. You cannot pick a fight with everyone and win. Because... If you are such a, a character who fights everybody around you, that means you have a singular problem that you need to address yourself. As I am speaking, the leaders of Kenya Kwanza are fighting everyone around them. We are unsafe as a country. They are fighting activists. They are fighting politicians with a contrary opinion, such as the Azimio. You are fighting your own media. You are fighting your own judiciary. You will soon fight the parliament. So there is no one you are agreeing to. Everybody is being sponsored. Bloggers are sponsored by Uhuru. Activists are being sponsored by Uhuru. Media is being sponsored by Uhuru. Judiciary is being sponsored by Uhuru. Even the attacks. Very soon you will hear regardless the say they are being sponsored by Uhuru Kenyatta. That's point number two. Point number three. As a president, you are supposed to assign a symbol of national unity as the constitution says, Article 1. So, as a president, if you fail to unite a country after the election, definitely that is one sign of failure. Because one of the key responsibilities, one of the key works of the president after an election is to see how to unite a polarized country, not only in Kenya, across the world. When an election ends, you find a country is polarized. It is the responsibility of the president to make sure that he has brought the country together by stretching a hand to the opposition. Ruto has failed in doing so. What we are seeing here is chest thumping from both Ruto Regardi, and the Kenya Kwanza affiliated political leaders. That's what we are seeing. Point number three. As a country, we have been pushed into lies and propaganda. As a Kenyan, you cannot be sure on what is happening next in government. Today, you are being told we are offering free feeding programs in schools, which has never existed. Number two, you are being told as a country, we have established an economy. While our own shilling is losing value, you wonder which economy has been stabilized. Tomorrow you hear, oh, as a government, we have made sure that young people are having jobs. When you, in reality, when you wake up, young people are shouting on the roads, demonstrating, and carrying pankas to Nataka Kazi. Tomorrow here they say, next week we are lowering the cost of fuel. You wake up the following week, the cost of fuel has increased. 
And then you wonder what is happening. We will lower electricity. We have cartels. We'll deal with them. You wake up next month, you find tokens have gone up. You wonder, Agai, what is happening with this country? Kenya, we are at risk. The earlier we accept it as Kenyans, the better. If we hide our heads in the sand, ladies and gentlemen, you will wake up tomorrow and find you cannot access even a shilling from your all savings in banks. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisa.